let's say something like this. Lambda is kappa x squared. So let's say you have the rod is, uh, its linear de charge density increases as you uh, go away from the rod. <clears throat> Okay. As a matter of fact, let me do something different. Let me do the linear charge density decreases. So last week we did a case of decre uh, increasing. So let's do decreases. So in other words, you've got a rod that is, the x is defined from the center of the rod. And the, towards the center of the rod, there's a lot more charge. And then as you get towards the ends, it goes down. So the, set, the, the rod is concentrated in the center. Now we bend that rod. So most of the charge is here at the center. And then we place the other charge over here. And then there's less charge over here. So we bend it, and now do we expect the force to be larger than the other one? Well, the other one was like 0.38 or something, millinewtons. Do you expect it to be larger or smaller? Uh, we expect it to be larger, right? Because here is the most of the charge, and then there's least cancellation. The least cancellation is the center, and the ends is more cancellation. So again, to, if you understand what's going on, you should be able to predict the nature of the answer. Okay? So you go through the same calculation. You do, uh, let's, let's pick it up from right here, where the, uh, keep the lambda inside. So I'm going to continue from the step right here. 2k uh, q2 over r squared, and then lambda is inside, and then the lambda is equal to, here's where I'm going to put kappa x squared, uh, kappa x to the minus 2, factor out the kappa x to the minus 2 dx sine theta. And now I can put x is r theta, right? x is the, the arc length, r theta. So now put that over here. dx is r d theta. So I'm going to end up with dx is r d theta. And then uh, this one's going to be, well, x to the minus 2. So it goes in the denominator as r squared theta squared sine of theta from 0 to pi over 2. And you're going to end up with 1r and the 1r cancel. You can factor out the r. The rest of it here is sine of theta over pi squared, uh, sine of theta over theta squared. So you're going to end up with f equals 2k q2 over r squared. Oh no, r, r, r cubed, right? Kappa integral 0 to pi over 2 sine of theta over theta squared d theta. And now we used our uh, ti, okay? As I showed you how to do the integral. So turn it, uh, go to fn int. Uh, you got to be in radian mode here because we're integrating sine. So go to mode, change it to radian. So now I'm going to do sine of x divided by x squared, comma, x, comma, 0, comma, pi divided by 2. So your limits of the integral are 0 
and pi over 2. It's working on it here. Maybe it's not a doable integral. Huh? <laughs> We're making our ba uh, batteries work harder here. Anyone got an answer? Mine is still working on it. Huh? No answer, huh? <laughs> There's an error, it says. I wonder if I make the lower limit uh, like 0 0.01 comma pi over 2. Um, And now I got an answer. I think the problem is the, the lower limit is the 0. And then you get to sine of 0 over 0 squared, you know, that the, the, the lower limit. So what I did is I just put 0 0.01. So f forget the real center of the rod here, OK? Because the problem is when you're doing kappa x to the minus 2, and then you put 0 here, that's infinity. So what are you talking about? There's infinite charge there. So you have to almost assume as if the center of the rod is like some kind of insulating material. And uh, there's no charge way at the center. So you have to give it some little length. And then, and then uh, so depending on the thickness of that, and then from there the charge begins. So let's say the 0.01. 0.01 meters this way, 0.01 meters that way, there's no charge. So then you can integrate from 0.01 to pi over 2. Okay? So if I give that to you on the test, that's the way to do it. Just go 0.01. Assume that the center of the uh, rod is no uh, charge. So then I get uh, 4.8633 right here. Okay, so over here, I still get some numbers. Now, I need to do another integral. Remember, whenever so the uh, <coughs> rod is non-uniform, you got to do another integral so that you can relate the kappa to the total charge of the rod. So the second integral is dq is integral lambda dx, and then lambda is kappa x to the minus 2 from uh, negative L over 2 to L over 2. So you got to say if a rod has a charge density that it changes from uh, x to the minus 2, then how is the total charge of the rod related to the kappa? So then integrate this. You have uh, q is equal to double the kappa 0 to L over 2. Uh, dx over x squared. 